187th Street between Arthur and Hughes, home of many old school Italians, but today we're not having Italian, all right? What the fuck? We're having ramen, traditional Japanese ramen infused with a Caribbean twist. We're not gonna have it here, but we're gonna talk to the franchisees, all right? Then we're gonna head over to New Rochelle, Rock and Ramen, and then we're gonna go talk to Chef Wayne, owner and founder of this beautiful franchise. Come on. Again, definitely. Uh, this has been years in the making. Yes. I was there the night that you guys announced you were opening this spot. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was having dinner, and Chef Wayne stood up and said, "You know, we this is our new franchisee." So I was there that night. Oh, okay. I, so that was about two years ago. Two right. years ago. Yeah. But I mean, this is years in the making. How does it feel now to actually have this spot open? Oh uh, man, it feels like a blessing. Due to unfortunate circumstances. Um, we had to open up a bit later than we planned to, but um, other than that, it's about just jumping back on the ball. Yeah. You know, get knocked down, stand back up, keep it chucking. Hey, that's all. This concept really just pulled me in and it made me feel like, you know what, like, this is the only one. I'm like, if I wanted to invest in something, this should be this it. Should be number it, one, it's black owned. Yeah. Number two, that's it's number like, one. tracks. And, and number two, is like, this concept is nowhere else. So I looked at it as, you know what, let me jump on and try and get on this pioneer movement mm -hmm. right now and get ahead of the, 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 the rush. I, I call it, when I phrase it, I say it's like a McDonald's before McDonald's. So yeah. McDonald's, you know, so. There's high quality ingredients and all exactly. that. And then, then you know what, it keeps, it keeps to our roots. Yes. Uh, it keeps to the roots of being traditional Japanese and also Caribbean yes. cuisine as well. So I appreciate you for doing what you do. And I appreciate you for Thank you. my brother. Always a pleasure. Yes. You know, we got to support black owned businesses, especially during this time. Yes. You know, the pandemic and what's going on with everything. So I appreciate you for, because now you can come to Little Italy and you don't even have to eat Italian. Exactly. You know, you can eat. Japanese and you could eat Caribbean. Exactly. So thank you. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna head over to New Rochelle and talk to Chef Wayne. All right, catch you there. I'm a former New York City detective. I ended up uh, going back into food. That was what I was doing prior to the police department. When I ended up leaving, I ended up going and working for um, uh, Five Guys, Burgers and Fries. I went from district manager to regional vice president of franchise operations. Yes. And uh, uh, I actually opened up everything on the Northeast US. Going okay. all the way up to Canada, Europe, Middle East. Wow. And while I was away, I was gone for about 30 days from home. I came back, and uh, my daughters had a movie for me called Ramen Girl with Brittany Murphy. Okay. After this movie, I'm like, I said to my oldest daughter, I said, uh, is there a ramen spot we can go to? I want to try this ramen. Mind you, almost seven years ago, I never, ever had this type of ramen. The fresh homemade ramen. That's where I officially met what they call ramen heads. Okay. People who were just fanatical about ramen. Yeah. So with that being said, I um, I started to ask people about other ramen shops and that's when everyone started chiming in. Oh, if you like this, you gotta go to Toto Ramen, you gotta go to Sapporo Ramen, you gotta go to Gin Ramen. That week, I hit every ramen shop that they talked about. One guy told me, uh, it's a, it's a tradition, you know, we've been doing this for 30, 40 years, and for you to just come into it and attempt to do our ramen, I can't let you do that. I was like, wow, okay. Went to the other guy, and the other guy said, you know what, it cost you about $50,000 for me to teach you how to do this. How to make ramen anywhere in the world. And a place came up in Osaka, Japan. And I called it, I called the number, and it was, it was three o'clock in the afternoon their time. This guy answers, speaks perfect English. Wow. And I told him what I wanted to do. I said, hey, I'm looking, I'm in the United States and I want to learn how to make ramen. And he goes, oh, okay, well, we have a course and it's two weeks long, it's $3,800, da 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 And I was like, oh, okay, I'm there. Wow. So I went ahead, I took a 30-day sabbatical with five guys, I took a leave of absence, 
I um, went to Osaka and I was lucky enough to end up staying in an apartment building that they owned right next to the shop. So I, uh, I, I, I'm there learning how to do this. My second week into it, I was like, wow, you know what? I'm gonna quit my job. It took a lot of soul and spirit and, and, and wanting to really know how to do this. I believed that I can take from ramen and create something different with it. With COVID eating up the profits, and the online orders and Uber Eats eating up the profits. How um, did you manage to bounce back from that? So what I did, when uh, when we, we shut our doors to the public March 16th, mm -hmm. when we closed the doors to the public, um, we felt it right away. Well, my partner and I and his brother, we had to come up with a plan. We had to regroup and recalibrate with my staff when we told them guys were closing the door. Mm -hmm. And even though, you know, what we did, my, my partner was like, Wayne, we can't just shut the doors. He said, let's grab all the employees, whoever wants to go, and let's take them to Costco and let them just shop. They all went and bought three, four months worth of food. And we made sure that our staff were good. We helped them with filling out the unemployment. Um, you know, and even though it was a struggle, we were all in it together. Ladies and gentlemen, food is a universal language, and this man, Wayne Carrington, he speaks it. I appreciate you, Chef. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What do you recommend? Chef, you guys like goat? Yeah. Ramen with a Caribbean twist. Traditional ramen at that. It doesn't get any better than this. I want to thank Chef Wayne for his hospitality and the Rock and Ramen staff for this beautiful food over here in downtown New Rochelle. Don't forget they're opening up in the Bronx, Dubai, soon Manhattan. All right? I got two heroes in the restaurant tonight. These two gentlemen right here saved the little girl's life yesterday in the fire. Oh, wow. Thank you! Thank you. 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 Thank you.